lots of re-rigging when you're fishing this method, but hey, you can catch a lot of fish, so. Oh, uh, you know, uh, what, what's the old Jewish saying? Uh, a, uh, a filth, uh, you know, much profit comes at the profit of an ox. Well, this is kind of it, you know, this line and this is your ox, you know. So much fish are caught at the loss of tackle, I guess. I don't know, that sounds a little cheesy. But, uh, well, maybe we can just go ahead and show you exactly how I rigged this up from start to finish. So, put our bait in like, put our weight in like so. And we just tie a palmer knot there on the, on the weight, you know. Because all I have is the egg sinkers. You can wet that if you want. If you don't want to, don't worry about it. Make sure the, always make sure the knot is sort of over the hole there. And then the tag end. I cut it off with the, uh, don't have my knife with me today, forgot it, left it at the, at the house. Um, oh, where'd that guy come from? That's the one we just took off. But anyway, and then I'll measure out from my, generally from the tips of my finger to my elbow, and then tie a knot, a uh, dropper loop. So you take it, it's an overhand, it's an overhand knot that you tie about five times. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that didn't go right. And then you pull the bottom up through it. And this one I will wet. Usually just get the river water and just dab it there. And that'll make a nice little loop. See, now we got a loop. So now all we gotta do is the hard part. If you got bad eyes, this is, and I do, this is the most frustrating part is putting this through so it may work. Need to find a hook that has a little bit bigger ring eye on it so I can do this without, you know, being epic blind. But anyway, it doesn't help that the sun's in my sort of my eyes. This is the part that takes the longest now. Well, you may need to pause the video here to get you, just to get this. Ah, finally. Once you put it through there, you're going to put it back through the hoop there, and bam, just like that. And there's our rig. Just like that and from there let me show you exactly how I hook these guys on I probably showed you this in other videos but not everybody watches every minute of every video right I know how that goes um, but I do thank thank you guys for chiming in and, and giving me a watch a view and thanks for the views I know you have a lot of things to do with your time and there's millions of videos to watch on YouTube and I sh thank you for stopping by the channel to check out what's going on. Okay, so we got two black soldiers here. Black soldier flies. We'll take him. Hook him just like you would a, a, a almost like you would a, a that piece of night crawler. And so he's on there straight. He's about to morph too. He is morphing, in fact. Uh, this guy. You put him on there like that. So you have two. And one sort of overlaps the other, depends on which one's larger. And we're in here real close to the bank now. We may just pitch on in. May just keep on rolling until we can catch something here. You know, the wind's not uh, helping us now. We're just too close into the bank. And so we're essentially anchored up. So we'll cast under these trees here into that shadow there. See what we can do right, just right there. Just right there, see what we can do. And we'll fish this area and then we'll just get back on the oars, paddle uh, or row back out. Yep, we're getting hitched. Yeah, there we go. There we go. You saw that, right?
And so even if you didn't want to anchor, you could get in real close to the bank and just start pitching in. This may be another catfish. Could be a bass. Wow. Wow, what is this guy? Wow. Wow. Whoa. War mouth, they call that, red ear. That's what we're looking for, guys. We're gonna keep it quiet. Shell cracker, ooh, wow, she's strong. She's so strong. She is so strong. That's what we're looking for, guys. Just look at that. As it needs waters, drop shot. You may not catch them like that every day, but they're in here. Black soldier fly, ooh, she's strong. She's so strong. She's bigger than the daggum catfish we bought, we caught. <laughs> All right, we gotta get back on the oars and get our, uh, and, and this water's fairly clear and, man, it's, it's beautiful there, huh? We may just, this may be what we need to do, just sort of like this, right? Mm hmm. Yep, that may be it there. Oh, dead gummit, don't give me all this fuss and noise. But you saw the whole process from start to finish, how long it took for me to catch that. <laughs> that's, a, that's a blessing. No, I'm not going to lie to you guys, it's just... So here we may be modifying, get in close to the bank, and you just inch down. Because we're a lot of the trees and things here. We caught her just underneath this tree right here. Yeah, we're getting bites right there, just right there. Little guy, though. So we're going to stay here for a little bit and just see what we can do. Wow, that was that was nice, huh? Thought it was a bass. I thought, wow, the way she's pulling. Get her up here. No, oh, just big old female broom. Drop shotting, four pound test line, probably gonna bump it up to six for the reasons we've stated before. But, and we're not anchored, I think that damsel fly. Um, we're not anchored, we're just simply, see the thing I like about the fly rod here like this is that, hey, it's long enough that I can basically push it like a cane pole if I wanted. And um, but anyway, We're probably um, scared them off in here now, but it's, uh, oh, come on, seriously? But anyway, um, I mean, that's what you can do. And it's kind of nice, if you want to have a nice little lunch, you can just park up under these trees, make sure there's no snake. <laughs> hey, snakes are under there too, but it's getting kind of late. It's getting cooling off for them. Well, we got having bites already. If we get something else, we'll get back with you. Um, you just never know where they are. And even with um, side view sonar and all that stuff, it can be hard to find where these fish are back in here in these tree branches and things. Yeah, 
there's another one right there. Not anywhere near as big as Mama there, but this is little Joe here, I guess. We'll keep him for bait. It looks like little Joe there. <laughs> big Mama, little Joe. Little Juliet or somebody. <laughs> Drop shotting. No float. It's kind of weird, them sell floats and yet I'm having more luck with the drop shot. This is how it goes sometimes. <coughs> Last year this time the floats were getting them in. So I guess you need a whole arsenal of fishing methods, tactics, gear, and um, whatnot. 